Good afternoon. Greetings from the Institute of Global Professionals, IGP. Greetings from the Institute of Global Professionals, IGP. Thank you all for joining us and staying with us till the end. Honorable knowledge seekers, today I am your host for the afternoon. My name is Janatul Huria. I am from Bangladesh. Dear knowledge seekers, I am proud to be associated with IGP. IGP, a non-profit organization, is a social and ISO certified international Education and Training Institute. In the last three years, we have already served 35 million knowledge seekers in 100 plus countries. IGP is internationally recognized and globally accredited. We are connected to more than 450 plus professions and 4,500 plus organizations. Institute of Global Professionals, IGP, and ISO 9001-2015 and 10002-2018 is the training facility for skill development which was founded in 2020 and is generating content candidates to meet demand in the global level market by providing professional qualifications. The Institute of Global Professionals is an educational institute that provides social work globally recognized and reputable. We serve students and community resources providing holistic social work and education. We believe that it's not effective to increase one's skill just by acquiring formal education. So we provide effective training and consultation to generate proficient generations all over the world. We distribute our service locally, nationally and internationally to students job seeker job holders and also for learners to respective campus location and distance learning platforms we are an occupational and dependable institution IGP is one of the famous online institution from all over the world our vision is education it's not a business product it's a part of our human life based on our vision we are trying to reach all corners of the world for free webinars seminars courses hours quiz competition mentoring and counseling etc on the other side, we are also trying to offer more than 100 premium services for free, like creating our portfolio website, resume builder, cover letter, motivation letter, and world knowledge platform for gathering general knowledge, which can upgrade all day. Kids learning game websites, free courses, converter sites, and many more. We help to empower youth to learn to meet their expectation and dream and become highly skilled people. We implement several training programs, webinars, and offline online courses for youth and learners by professional trainers, speakers, and coaches. Our sessions are conducted by globally renowned professionals to develop all kinds of youth and to promote the education of their abilities and personalities. Spreading knowledge is crucial for the Institute of Global Profession. We believe that knowledge is love, light, and vision. So we try to understand the need to need of our today's generation and will serve them with good research and practice methods. We must have a genuine concern, concern for the learners. We represent more diversity, growth, and innovation are To lead a session with professionalism, passion, and integrity, IGP members are committed to offering effective, best quality services and continual improvement so that individuals who seek information can improve their skills, levels, and methods. Before we move to the next, let me remind you, don't forget to share, tag, and mention your trend in the comment box. Your support is very valuable to us. Thank you. Before we move to the next, let me remind you, don't forget to share, tag, and mention your friend in the comment box. Your support is very valuable to us. Thank you. Moving to the next, with your continuous support, we have already completed 1,525 winners successfully. Wow. Moving to the next, with your continuous support, we have already completed 1,525 winners successfully. Wow. Dear IGP speakers, participants and wishers, at this moment, this is a very important message for you all. We changed and designed our website www.edauigp.com on the website we have surprise for everyone hope you will be benefit we already launched our web, new website where you can find all our previous activities together 
with lots of new features. But one strong point is that without an account or logged in, you cannot enjoy our services. So create your account for once with your proper information, not that. With your proper information, you will enjoy, enjoy all features. With mismatch data, you cannot do anything here. From now on, you have to participate in live quiz competition on our website. We replace Slido. You have to join directly on our website. Now you can check all our all of our previous webinars with verified e-certificates. Now it's easier and time oriented because after the session, we will not provide you with any code of our certification. You have to take part in one exam. After that, if you pass, you will receive your certificate, otherwise not. But you can take part in an exam unlimited till you pass. If you are an IGP speaker, you can download all your previous certificates. If you are a host of IGP, you can download your certificate of gratitude. If you are an online quiz competition winner, you can download your certificate of participation. If you are selected for a lifetime membership, then you can download your certificate of lifetime membership easily. Besides this, if you participated in any award function which organized combined with support with IGP, you can download that also. You can instantly prepare and download 18 types of instant certificates from our website within a minute. Certificate of Global Membership, Certificate of Influencer During the Pandemic, Certificate of Active Knowledge Seeker, Certificate of Social Activities During the Pandemic, Certificate of Achievement, IGP Knowledge Seeking Campaign 2020, Certificate of Achievement, IGP Knowledge Seeking Campaign 2021, Certificate of Achievement, IGP Knowledge Seeking Campaign 2022, Certificate of Participation Webinar Series 1, Authentic Assessment in Teaching Learning, Certificate of Participation Webinar Series 2, Teaching English as a Foreign Language and Assessment. Certificate of Participation Webinar Series 3, Digital Classroom Engagement Tools. Certificate of Participation Webinar Series 4, The New Trends in Education. Certificate of Participation Webinar Series 5, Upskill Organizational Leadership and Managerial Skills. Certificate of Participation Webinar Series 6, Trends and Innovation in Mathematics Education. Certificate of Participation Webinar Series 7, Research and Comprehensive Effort. Certificate of Participation Webinar Series 8, Art in Teaching, a Special Program in the Arts. Certificate of Participation Webinar Series 9, 21st Century Today, 2 c Teaching Mathematics. Certificate of IGP Corporate Ambassador, Certificate of IGP Campus Ambassador, which you can prepare and download within a minute. From now on, you can participate in 1000 plus international level quizzes with verified e certificate. Teaching tips for teachers, health tips for parents, health tips for teens, gamification tools for teachers you can enjoy. Uh, you can join uh, IGP alumni. You can check out our 50 plus premium services website for free and many more. Dear IGP Valuation, we promised previously, but lack of technical issue, we are late sending you on time. This is a great opportunity to collect your previous credentials. We solve all issues from our website. Now you can add reset password and everything. You can check your dashboard for all webinar details. It is a cordial request to you. Check all buttons and page on our website. Surely, I can say you will be benefited. Thank you. But note that without an account or logged in, you cannot enjoy our services. At present, we are going to start our 1,525 program name, Educational Management and Administration. And our today's speaker, Ma'am Priyanka Priyanjana Shikdar. Before I hand over the stage to Ma'am, want to share a very little about our speaker, founder by Zoom Academy. Now it's very important moment for, for me to invite our speaker to IGP with his presentation. Um. I guess uh, my PPT would be shared from your end. Okay, so thank you once again, IGP, for giving me this platform. And uh, without wasting time, let's uh, begin with our topic, as it says, uh, education, management, and administration. So I know uh, whoever is listening or whoever in, is in this webinar, uh, we all of have been uh, still now into education or we were into education so we should know uh, like how we should be administering or managing the education uh, rules and policies because this is a very important domain if we are a part of education system so be it for high school middle school college uh, university 
so we need to learn about these things very clearly that how we should manage or what are the principles of education management and administration okay so uh, next slide please uh next okay so let's uh, begin with the objectives of uh, education management so what should be the objectives the first says explaining the concept of educational management definitely uh, what is the need of educational management in our institution or any uh, university or any any schools okay in any educational organization so to uh, describe about the nature of educational management to discuss about the scope of the educational management so we should know that what are the scope also involved with the educational management it's very important even uh, what is the exact nature of educational management so different characteristics of a good management okay so these are very important so uh, next slide please yeah so educational management is a field of study and practice concerned with the operation of the educational organizations and educational management is centrally concerned with the purpose or aims of education and these purposes or goals provide the crucial sense of direction also to underpin the you no know, management of educational institutions so unless this link between the purpose and management is clear and close to every one of us there is a very much danger of managerialism which is very important in every institution if there is a no proper management in any university or any school or any college then everything will come under no it it will be a mess at the end of the day so the management should be very much strict enough for that end to uh, no uh, to bring about a proper and a skillful management of any organization so yes a stress on the procedures at the expense of educational purpose and values then management possesses no superordinate goals or values of its own because the pursuit of efficiency can be a mission statement of the management yes always but yes this is the efficiency in the achievement of objectives which others define next slide please okay now coming to a very important uh, concept that is need of educational management so before that we need to know that uh, where does this implement it like educational management operates in educational organizations and most of the definitions or most of the concept of educational management says that like a school management if i take so it's a body of educational doctrine it comprises of a lot of principles a number of principles and precepts that relate to the technique of a classroom procedure and that are derived largely from the practice of the successful teachers so yes it implies an orderly way of thinking when we say management it implies that so it describes in operational terms like what is to be done how it is to be done how we know when we have done management is not an no it's a not an arcane mystic so it's a method of operation how we are doing it okay now need what is the need of educational management that's a big question so while writing about the purpose of educational management you no know, uh, one scandal says he was a famous academician fundamentally the purpose of educational management is to bring pupils and teachers under such condition and uh, in a democratic country like ours educational management is a necessity i would say so some suitable stable elements are properly motivated and organized right and it becomes really necessary to withstand uh, and survive the changes and upheavals caused because of the change of governments but errors of judgment can be retrieved right in a farm or in factory but this can be fatal when we are really concerned with the molding or ideas and values of our society so an efficient and sound system of educational management is really a good basis of a democratic country i would say okay so there lies the need of an educational management next slide please now 
what is the nature of an educational uh, management so definitely it's the management of education institution to foster teaching to to you uh, know uh, to ex- to motivate the concept of teaching and learning so as a field of practice it has some aspects in common with other fields of management like public administration hospital administration business administration etc so um like uh, like in 1950s i would say the educational tradition has become a field of study in its own right and as an applied field it has become much common uh, like along with the fields of medicine and engineering so it also builds upon psychology sociology subjects like economics political science and other behavioral sciences and it has already been mentioned in my ppt that as a field of study emerged first at the teachers training college of columbia university it was followed shortly by the graduate programs of these mentioned universities like stanford chicago okay and a lot of institutions and uh, universities in usa as well so for the part 20 to 30 years emphasis has increased on the development of theory and research in educational management and it has also increased the understanding of the educational organization and the people working with them next slide please now let us discuss about some of the important terminologies associated with this uh, management one is dynamic function what is it so dynamism sh- must be prevailed in any when we are dealing with any management strategies this because if you are not bringing about any dynamism then your institution is bound to you know uh, reach to a saturation point so you need to work on that very well so it is like no it is it comes it is concerned with the alternation of the environment which is very much needed for every human beings next is very important practical practicability so the school management like it's a you know, there are a lot of theoretical principles of education management but in reality we shouldn't be following those we have to work according to our instinct what our environment says that's very important so uh, you know whatever the objective that is decided must be made achievable you know, and practicable just to avoid any kind of frustrations any kind of irritations any kind of anxiety angerness uh, in our institution next is distinct process management so what is it it's a very distinct process and to determine and accomplish the objectives i should be clear about my objectives when i'm building up a institution so uh, and i should also you know implement and i should also try to spread those uh, you no know, objectives amongst my colleagues amongst those who are working as a team for that education management so whatever the objective that is decided must be made uh, again practicable it should be motivating it should be controlling it should be very much well planned organized and should always uh, we should think about the consequences of the management practices okay next slide please <clears throat> the fourth one is needed at all levels of organization like according to the nature of task and scope of authority management is needed at all levels of organization it's not that um for the suppose if i say no management is not needed for the primary level because okay they are very small children okay fine but no we need a management even at the super superior level also right because without management even uh no we have our still we all you will agree with me that we have our parental impacts still on our lives we always go up to them at the end of the day like what what should we do what should not we do so uh, exactly so like we need someone to monitor to operate to regulate the entire system properly so this has to be some team working upon it and that is management okay if it's lacking then definitely any system will come to an end functioning okay system of authority is authority to get the work accomplished from others is implied in the very concept of management since it's a very you know, process of directing men to perform a task now an authority is the power to compel men to work in a certain manner and management cannot work in the absence of authority right so since it's a rule making and rule enforcing body so there is a chain of authority and responsibility among people working at different levels of the organization 
Okay, so that's a very important thing to be followed. Next. Yes, a very important thing is principles of uh, education management. So before we just uh, dig into this thing, I would like to say, uh, like management, the word management has a very you know, impactful uh, meaning. And it can be associated with different uh, fields. Like if I say only management as an organization, it's not. As a person also, as an individual also, you need proper management of yourself. Because, for example, a teacher could say the school management has changed the timetable <coughs> in the middle of the term. <coughs> so this could be referring to you as the head alone or to all the senior staff. Okay, it's not about school management but yes who has managed to make up this timetable everyone everyone has given their input otherwise it could not have been possible Achha. so management as a discipline so in this sense we can say management is a field study okay with various subjects and topics knowledge skills etc okay so these are the different things that have to be kept in mind so what are the different principles um, we have for educational management the first one is yes division of work we need to divide our work because if we are not dividing our work that is not cannot be like referred to as management because always management is a very it's a it's a teamwork okay uh, so that should we should keep in our mind next is authority responsibility and accountability very important because we need to take responsibility while we are uh, you know, framing some laws and regulations. We need to follow discipline for that. There should be unity of command. Like uh, there shouldn't be any, you know, uh, what to say, uh, any, any flaws, any biasedness. Like whatever, suppose if I'm the principal of an institution, so whatever uh, decisions I have made with my teammate, that should be followed by everyone. It's not that I have made some rule and suddenly uh, the very next day somebody come like any teacher or any other any coordinator just comes and change that rule right away and impose some other things no so there should be some uniformity so there should be centralization there should be scalar chain there should be remuneration of the personnel like definitely so there should be equity the most important principle i would say and also you will be agreeing with me uh, it's the unity or the equity. Okay. So everything should be common. Everything should be uh, similar. Right. There should be stability in the decisions taken up. Okay. Next slide, please. So, yes, what are the scope of educational management? See, by scope, what we mean, we mean the area within which the functional functioning of the educational management take place. The scope of educational management today is very vast, like as that of education itself. So any activity conducive to the achievement of educational goal is a part of educational management. So like at the school level or college level, at university level, control level, anything done to improve the quality of education at any stage can be ranging from you know, supply material to financial resources, anything, academic needs. So the first scope is goal development. So the education system, we all know, is a subsystem of our society. And you know, therefore, the society not only provides human and non-human resources, but also certain expectations that the system of education can achieve certain goals. And it is very much necessary for the educative process also to be you know, responsive to these changing expectations. And it is only through the educational management that persons involved in this process of management can continuously examine the goals of education. The next is planning. So according to the you know, Oxford English Dictionary, it says planning is to design some actions to be done beforehand. Uh, and even we can say that planning is the process of preparing a set of decisions, yes, for action in the future. And also towards realizing some goals by the best possible means. 
even according to the education commission 1964 planning at the first two stages include national level and state levels that alone suffers from some deficiencies such as lack of emphasis on local issues in educational development or uh, non involvement of educational workers over emphasis on the expenditure oriented programs very important so uh, planning at the college level also does not mean uh, that the principal or a few of the members of the faculty should prepare the plan for various activities instead it should be a cooperative endeavor for all those who are involved in the implementation of the plans and not only the members of the faculty teaching or non teaching but even the students and parents also i would say so the thing is the management always should initiate coordinate and provide services and to be a part of these activities that's it and lastly organization so it has been a problem in the field of education and the debate over the control of education has over again raised the salient issue of how educational machinery should be present should be best organized and if conventional biases and prejudices can be replaced by decisions made logically or scientifically with the achievement of objectives then only the consideration should be the modern principles and techniques of the organization that will provide a basis for the effective distribution and also the coordination functions right next slide please okay one second yeah so uh what is the difference between then administration and management we should be clear about it so uh management is an art of getting things no done like it's the technique which you are implementing administration is how you are doing it that should be taken care of like it's it is concerned more over with the formulation of broad objectives plans and policies management is an executive function and it's a decision making function right executing is management and administration is how you are executing that's the thing so it decides who should as it or how should we do it administration is what is to be done management decides is doing function because managers get work done administration is a thinking function like plans and policies are determined under it and management is always execution so skills can be technical and human obviously administration is also human skills but conceptual more or less and uh, even i would say that management constitutes the employees of the organization who are paid remuneration in the form of salaries and wages whereas administration represents the owners of the enterprise who like earn a return on their capital invested and profits in the forms of dividend right next slide so before coming to the conclusion i would like to say that there are certain good character like characteristics of a good management and that include flexibility practicability conformity to the social and political philosophy of the country efficiency <clears throat> and successful achievement so always we should keep in mind while we are dealing with a good management right and yes to conclude uh, we know that educational management operates in educational organizations and in democratic country like ours it's a big necessity so some suitable stable elements are properly motivated and organized uh you know in 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 the machinery becomes necessary to withstand so we can say it's an orderly way of thinking management is an orderly way of thinking and it can be described in operational terms so what is to be done how it is to be done how we know how it has to be done so that's what good management should always result in an you know orderly integration of education and society and it will render good impact on our society so thank you so much everyone uh for your presence that's all from my end thank you so much ma'am for your rich content presentation which can impact our knowledge surely 
after your presentation i hope our knowledge seeker can learn something new which was our only intention learn and grow together igp knowledge seeker once again thank you so much ma'am for your presentation now ma'am it's time for our question answer session which is the one more valuable part of our regular webinar honorable ma'am please stay with us after a short video we will back in our session part 2 which is the question answer part dear igp knowledge seeker it's time for our question answer session the most attractive and powerful part of our regular webinar. After a short video, we will start our question session. After question answer session, we have a webinar certification and online quiz competition. Dear IGP knowledge seeker, it's time for our question answer session, the most attractive and powerful part of our regular webinar. After a short video, we will start our question answer session. After question answer, we have a webinar certification and online quiz competition. If one employee doesn't obey the management rules, what should be the possible incidents happen to that employee? Uh, hi, Maple. Uh, good question. So, uh, see, it's a very obvious uh, outcome. If uh, that person will be given some time, obviously, uh, rectification time. Every one of us should get that. So, first time, it shouldn't be considered as a mistake. Uh, like, it first time, it should be a mistake. The second time, if the employee is doing the same, it's committing the same mistake, it's no more mistake, it's called intentional mistake. So obviously, in the second or third attempt, he or she would be terminated from that organization, immediate termination. 
So that's the uh, last outcome that can happen to the employee if he or she is not abiding by the management rules. Thank you, ma'am, for your answer. Ma'am, there is no more questions from our participants. So once again, thank you so much, ma'am, for your time oh. in IMP. We have learned a lot from you with your topic. It will add some value to our daily activity along with our academic and professional work. Honorable ma'am, hope to see you again with a new topic and a new day. Thank you, ma'am. Take care. Thank you. Honorable ma'am, before we move to the next webinar certification process, if you... Our website is under maintenance. We will back soon with our website. We are sorry for that. And don't worry, you will take your certificate for all the webinars soon. Dear IGP Knowledge is time for our most academic part of this webinar, which is an online quiz competition, which is our regular webinar activity. Now, time for the online quiz competition. To join the online quiz competition properly, please follow my instruction carefully. Visit now, time for the online quiz competition. To join the online quiz competition properly, please follow my instruction carefully. For some technical problem, we cannot continue our quiz from the website. So to join our quiz session, you have to go www.slider.com and the code is 3132923. Sorry, 3132929. After a short video, we will start our quiz session. With 16 people, we are going to start our quiz session right now. Our first question is, under RA norm 772, management and administration on the higher education development found is dispersed in section option 1, section 12, option 2, section 11. Option two is the right answer and no one is correct here in the leaderboard and then Nasiruddin is holding the first position. Our second question is, what kind of education do you need to work in business management and administration? Option one, at least a master degree. Option two, technical college or bachelor's degree. Option 2 is the right answer. 89% people are right here. In the leaderboard, Amri Nasiruddin is holding the first question. Our third question is, what does easy IEP, our web-based special educational case management system, help teachers and administrators organize? Option 1, grade and 
health and medical re records option two iep data key event due dates for compliance and reporting Option two is the right answer. Eighty-nine percent people are right here. In the leaderboard, and then answer is only the first question. Our fourth question is: What is the typical minimum education necessary for a career in business administration and management? Option one: bachelor degree. Option two: master degree. Option one is the right answer, and hundred percent people are right here. In the leaderboard, and the answer is holding the first position. Our fifth position is which job fell under the career cluster of business management and administration? Option one, fireman. Option two, sales manager. Option two is the right answer, and hundred percent people are right here. In the leaderboard, I mean, Nasir Udin is holding the first position. Our sixth question is business management and administration job and career would be option one: police officer, firefighter, paramedic. Option two: accountant, secretary, store manager, business owner. Option two is the right answer, and hundred percent people are right here in the leaderboard. And Nasir is holding the first position. Our seventh position is educational, self management, and physical activity. Option one, vacation. Option two, pulmonary rehabilitation. Option two is the right answer, and sixty-two percent people are right here. In the leaderboard, Amin Nasir is holding the first position. Our eighth question is government, business, science, and education management. Option one, culinary sector. Option two, secondary sector. Option one is the right answer, and thirty-three percent people are right here. In the leaderboard, Leah is holding the first position. Our ninth question is deliver disease management, education, and support. Option one, pharmacist. Option two, pharmacy technician. Option one is the right answer, and thirty-three percent people are right here. The leaderboard: Leah is holding the first position. Our last and final question of this session is: provides emergency management and preparation education. Option one: FEMA. Option two: W Y M C A Y W C A. Option one is the right answer, and fifty-nine percent people are right here. Congratulations to our online quiz competition winner, top ten. Congratulations again. We will take a few minutes for finalizing the result, and after that, we will issue our online quiz competition certificate on our official Facebook page and group Institute of Global Professionals. Congratulations to our online quiz competition winner, top ten. Congratulations again. 
We will take a few minutes for finalizing the result and after that we will issue our online quiz from the certificate on our official Facebook page and group Institute of Global Professional. Congratulations to our online quiz competition we have top 10. Congratulations again. We will take a few minutes for finalizing the result and after that we will issue our online quiz competition certificate on our official Facebook page and group Institute of Global Professional. At the end of our session, we can say properly fit with skill never stops learning cause life never stops teaching us. Be happy and stay safe. See you again and again. We want your participation in every program. If you want to live a happy life, try it to a goal not a people of things. Albert Einstein. Before I say or hit the end like button, again I want to thank all IGP knowledge seekers for your active participation as always. See you again in the next session. Thank you.